We're high above the green pastures of Vancouver, Canada. A challenging hike to the lions, or sisters, as our Indigenous friends call them. And today we're reviewing 10 big names who have looked up at the majestic lions from down there in Vancouver. A city they've all called home. Alan Young is best remembered as an actor who played Wilbur Post in the classic 1960s sitcom Mr. Ed about a talking horse. The Emmy winner also shared the screen with Natalie Wood, Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra and Clint Eastwood. When he was just a wee lad, sweet Alan attended Pauline Johnson School in West Vancouver where some say he was voted most likely to be the voice of Disney's animated character Scrooge McDuck. Singer Juliette Cavazzi is best remembered by her stage name, Our Pet Juliet. At 13 years old, she was discovered here at the Kitsilano Showboat, an outdoor community stage. Sweet Juliet received countless offers from America, but she preferred to stay in Canada, where she had her own national TV show from 1956 to 1966. Juliet passed away in 2017 and will always be remembered for her wonderful voice and wholesome personality. Born in Vancouver, David Suzuki is best known as an academic environmentalist and TV personality. He's the host of the TV show The Nature of Things, seen in over 40 countries. Sweet David was a professor at the University of British Columbia for 40 years, and UBC students who hit the sauce after a hard exam may wish to have another on David. He lobbied successfully for the campus to first open its pub in 1968. Jimi Hendrix was a very talented guitarist and singer. He's remembered with his grandma Nora in this Vancouver mural. Jimmy spent a significant part of his childhood here, and 50 years after he died, fans gathered for a memorial at Vancouver's Jimi Hendrix Shrine. Sweet Jimmy attended Dawson Annex School in Vancouver, where some say he was voted most likely to take up all of your sweet time and then give it right back to you one of these days. If you didn't get a chance to meet Jimmy in this world, he'll meet you in the next one. Don't be late. Ryan Stiles is best known as a very funny comedian who has starred in such TV programs as Whose Line Is It Anyway in the Drew Carey Show. He owns Upfront Theatre, an improvisational comedy club near Bellingham, Washington. But before all that, young Ryan went to R.C. Palmer Junior High. The kids all loved him. He was a funny guy, joking in the cafeteria, gym and library. Now he is famous and friends with Drew Carey. Colin Firth is best known as a movie star with lead roles in Bridget Jones's Diary, Mamma Mia, The King's Speech, and Kingsman. Before he hit it big, he lived in a log cabin for several years near Maple Ridge. He tried for an acting career in Vancouver, but was rejected by the theater community, who didn't see any talent or potential in him. And they were probably right. It's not like he's won Golden Globe Screen Actor and Academy Awards. Born in Vancouver, John Ruskin is best known as celebrity interviewer Nardwar, who surprises his subjects with his memorabilia collection and deep knowledge of their careers. A member of the BC Entertainment Hall of Fame, Nardwar has interviewed celebrities like Tyler the Creator, Kendrick Lamar, and Cardi B. Before he was famous, sweet Nardwar attended UBC, where he could have been voted most likely to. Do -do 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 -do. Justin Trudeau is best known as Canada's 23rd Prime Minister and son of Pierre Trudeau, the 15th Prime Minister. Before his political career, he was a high school teacher at Vancouver's West Point Grey Academy. Sweet Justin earned a Bachelor of Education degree from UBC, where according to those in the know, he was voted most likely to be in a Jean-Claude Vancouver vlog. Born in Vancouver, Kristen Crook is best known as an actor, playing such roles as Lana Lang in the hit TV series Smallville. 
She was planning to study forensic science before her acting career took off, and Kristen has since won multiple People's Choice Awards. Before she was famous, sweet Kristen attended Eric Hamber High School here, where she might have been voted most likely to be 2005's sexiest woman in the world. Born in Vancouver, Jenna Talakova is best known as a model and television personality. She made it to the top 12 in the 2012 Miss Universe Canada beauty pageant after being initially rejected because she is transgender. A former Grand Marshal of Vancouver's Pride Parade, sweet Jenna attended Killarney High School here, where I heard that she was voted most likely to one day wage a legal battle against Donald Trump and win. Thank you for watching this little taste of old Vancouver as she once was. Won't you hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up? Jewel Helmer did my wardrobe, Bev Sugarman my makeup. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver, and until next time, be good to the other. And everyone will be fine, everyone will be fine.